Good morning. It is now 806. A line of very severe thunderstorms in north central through central Arkansas, just north of Moralton right now, moving to the northeast. Severe thunderstorm warning as well for Polk County in the MENA area. I'm also noticing this one cell that's uh, starting to develop here in central Saline County, and there it is right there moving up towards western Pulaski County. Most of the rain here is uh, just north of Little Rock and west, but we're going to see that main line come through later on this morning. Your forecast for today near 80 with rain and thunderstorms. This is 100 mile per hour winds possible near Bird. Um, let's zoom in a little bit closer here near Birdtown. And uh, this image here is just a few minutes old, 100 mile per hour winds, but it's heading towards the east, northeast at about 45 miles per hour. I'm going to go back out and do another track on this. Uh, we're going to stick with you on the storm. If you're watching us up towards uh, Fairfield Bay and Greer's Ferry, I also want you to start to uh, think about taking tornado precautions. We're going to go back into Doppler radar mode. I'm going to take some of these streets off of here and uh, some of these shear markers because it can get uh, sort of busy, but uh, I'm going to put on a track moving to the northeast at 45 miles per hour. It'll put it in Damascus at 828. So Damascus within the next seven minutes, we're expecting a possible tornado within the next five to seven minutes. South side at 830 to 832, B branch at about 833. Go back to uh, Doppler radar and our, our own live Doppler radar and, and kind of see how that's looking. You can uh, very concerned. It looks like the circulation is going to go north of Greenbrier, just north of Greenbrier. And um, this is the inflow notch right here. Uh, this is um, air going into this possible tornado. Again, Doppler radar indicated that's air going into it right here. And there's a circulation right about here. Now this purple area north of Center Ridge is more than likely some very large hail. We'll go to velocity mode and now the Doppler radar is indicating the circulation center is actually just to the south of uh, Center Ridge heading up towards Damascus and south side once again. I'm going to zoom out and go back into this area. Um, the circulation and, and I, it's very impressive when I look at it and very strong. It's an ominous sign. I uh, want to let you know in Greenbrier that you're more than likely in the all clear as well as Guy, Arkansas is in the clear right now. But this circulation and the, the strong rotation seen here on Doppler radar uh, is this area as it um, this is air going away from the radar site, which is located in North Little Rock and air going towards the radar site. And that's the circulation right there. And I'm going to put on the shear markers right now and you'll be able to see there it is. Here's B Branch Southside and Damascus. Now let's put this into motion and you can see that northeastern progress of it would put it right across Highway 65 between Damascus, Southside and B Branch, uh, it, which is a fairly populated area. And uh, I have been to uh, Southside B Branch. Are y'all you happy to see him? I'm glad, man. I tell you what, I was coming down the road, so I go see this truck wadded up, and I, I didn't know what to think, and so it just popped up, and I asked God. I thankful. To see my brother. Immediately uh, with this storm in west central southwestern uh, uh, Lono County uh, as well as southern Pulaski County. It's moving into southern Pulaski County right now. Going back to our five live Dopplers, just continuing a good uh, velocity signature showing the couplet uh, between the uh, colors, the greens and the red, showing uh, winds blowing into the radar and away from the radar. This is south of Sheridan. Circulation. Mm -hmm. This south. is the other one. Oh, this, this is, is the, the other storm, storm south of Sheridan. Not as impressive as the other one, but it's certainly a potential uh, tornado producer there. So you, you need to rush to uh, your safe spot in your house. If you have a storm cellar or basement, great. Not many folks do. Get to the lowest part of your house, the most interior part of your house, and we continue to show you the storm now that it is very, very near our live radar, and I'm going to go back to that live radar view. It is right now on top of I-530. It can't be more than a mile and a half north of our radar site. Uh, this would be the area right here, Ned, and that would be coming up on... Uh, Woodson, I believe, this is Woodson Lateral Road, and Woodson, yeah, Woodson is right there. Woodson, it's right on top of you right now. You need to take cover 
and any point to the northeast of there too. This is a, uh, this is a dangerous storm. The velocity signature with it uh, still pretty impressive, maybe not quite as impressive as it was. That does not mean to let your guard down. That means that this is an unbelievable storm that is still, uh, that has likely has produced a tornado and I, and I bet you is still producing a tornado. We hope that the, uh, every time that a sweep comes around here, I keep hoping to see not this notch, this, not this inflow uh, inside, into the storm, but I don't see it yet. Looking at the storm from our Viper vantage point as well, and I want to uh, tell people we are seeing it moving to the northeast right now, and uh, even it's, it's in southern Pulaski County right now, but rapidly moving toward west and southwestern sections of Lone Oak County. So as we stop the laps on it, even uh, areas in Lone Oak in the path of this storm, um, from the beginning signs of the storm there up to Lone Oak, it's only 17 miles away from you right now. And as moving uh, the beginning stages of the storm, the uh, front of the storm is now moving into southwestern sections of Lone Oak County, but as you can see, even areas like Lone Oak, the city of Lone Oak, in the path of the storm, possibly only 17 miles away from you, so it's going to be on top of you probably in the next 15 minutes or so. So even in Lone Oak and areas along Interstate 40, uh, you need to think quickly to move to a safe place, wouldn't you think, Barry? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, all, all down from Scott to Keogh to England on the England Highway, you, you, you've got to be in a safe spot. It is very near our live radar right now, uh, very near the Woodson area, They're very near Hensley as well, the signs of rotation. This is looking into the absolute core of a supercell thunderstorm from up close and personal. Our radar is right on it. I dare say this is the strongest storm I've, I've ever seen so close to our radar uh, site. And it is a hail producer up to near Wrightsville, between Wrightsville and Hensley. There is a hail core of large hail, I'm going to guarantee right now. I can show you that on our uh, Viper Storm Tracker, which we are on right now. And I'll stop the rotation on this, or the uh, laps on it. and. Uh, try to um, get an idea of the hail that you were, we were talking about just a moment ago. We are looking at extremely high winds and the possibility of two inch hail with that storm. Supercell, right there it is, uh, from only a few miles away from our live radar. And anywhere in southern Lone Oak County, western Lone Oak County, Keogh, Lone Oak, uh, Scott, you need to be aware of the storm and begin making plans to move to a safe place. That's why we are able to give you plenty of advanced warning. But that storm, the backside or the flank side of the storm is where the tornado is being produced. So people in uh, Scott and Keogh right now, you're getting the brunt of the front edge of the storm. But the flank area or the backside of the storm is where the tornado usually forms and that is the case very classic signature today so you are in a thunderstorm area with hail high winds and it possibly could begin to get still in that area before the flank of that storm comes through with the tornado uh, in it and there has been a tornado confirmed near Hensley continues to move toward the northeast at about 45 miles per hour I think if anything Ned it's it's either sustaining its rotation and possibly even getting uh, worse they're still looking at a debris still, signature on that still looking at a debris signature and folks what that means is that this thing is picking up uh, not only are you seeing the the wind inside the storm and the raindrops being pulled toward the radar site and away from it but you're seeing such strong rotation, it's, it's because the radar is seeing objects actually being pulled around the center of an obvious tornado. Uh, you're seeing trees and you're seeing any building that it has hit, it is, it is pulling, uh, it is, that's why the, the reds are so bright red and the greens are so bright green right there. That is a debris signature within the funnel and our Todd Jacobian has been keeping us up to date with actual, uh, actual stuff from the National Weather Service on this as they look at the clouds. So you're getting, you're getting real-time information, and I want to thank Todd for doing that. Uh, but this is the storm right now as it moves away from Hensley, may, moves east of Woodson, and moves dead toward Keogh. I mean, right at Keogh right now. And you need, because 